Worms, I hope you're well. I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Just things have been a little bit hectic and it gets dark so early and the weekends go so quickly so it's hard, so hard to film. Um, but I just thought I'd try and sneak in a couple of film videos today. Um, and I know I asked over on my Instagram about hijab story slash journey questions. And that's still on there and I need to film that as well. But inshallah I'll try and upload that next weekend. This weekend I thought I would film something a little bit different. Today's going to be an abaya haul. Um, I've never done like an abaya haul video before. I will be uploading pictures of all of these gorgeous abayas um, when I wear them on my Instagram account. Um, but because there were so many I just thought the best way to share them with you would be through a haul video. So you guys can know what type of materials they are, um, what's best styled with what, where, where to find them from as well. Because um, I think in winter it can be harder to wear an abaya. I know it sounds crazy because in winter you want to be more covered up but I always find that because they're long and it's sort of normally it's wet and cold, it's harder to style them. So I thought I would show some of my favourites. Um, so the first one that I'm going to begin with is the one I'm wearing right now. This is from Jill Bars at Us. I will link all of the companies down in the description bar box, description box below, um, so you guys can go onto their website with their Instagram page. Um, but this is an opener buyer, and it's got like a little, what's this, that drawstring? No, whatever it is, it's one of those pretty things, so you can make it tighter and looser as you need to. The other thing that I learned recently about buyers is, you know the size, it's like 52, 54, 56, that's the length and not how big they are, they're all like quite loose. So I've got some here that are 52, some that are 54, some that are 56. I think the one that I'm wearing is 58, so it's really long. Um, but like paired with high heels, it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, this one is from Jill Barbs at Us. It's got a really, really cute uh, pattern here on both sleeves. The thing I love about these abayas is the sleeves are always so loose and so comfy. They're not great if you're washing up because they go everywhere. But yeah, don't wash up with your abaya on. Uh, but this is the back of it. I feel like it's got like a bit of a Chinesey thing going on. Um, but I've just paired this with a cream dress and black trousers. That's the other thing I love about buyers is that they give such full coverage. So if you're going somewhere where it's just going to be women only or you're having a girls night in or you're going somewhere nice and you want to wear a certain outfit underneath but you feel like it's not appropriate or um, you need more coverage, these buyers are amazing because you can just stick them on. They do up so it literally looks like an abaya and then when you get to wherever it is and if it's just women only or whatever, you can open them up and then show a bit of your outfit. Um, but yeah, this one is from Jill Barbs at Us, and then I've got two here, which I believe are from Al Haya. I'm just going to get these, are, these two are from Al Haya, but I don't want to get the name wrong. Yeah, they're from Al Haya Collection. This one is one of my favourites. Now, there is a lovely sister called Anna Nurin, who I follow on Instagram, and her pictures are just amazing. They're always classy and elegant. And as soon as I saw this, I thought fine. I was like, yep, I need to get that for myself. Um, so this abaya from Al Haya Collection is, um, it's an open abaya. It's a simple black abaya, but it's just got like these dainty little pearls all down the front. And then this gorgeous, ah, come with the hanger, um, this gorgeous white lace on the sleeves and on the bottom. Um, and it's just really simple, but so, so elegant. And it comes with um, a hijab as well, which is here. Um, these can be a struggle to put on, but I find that if you put a pashmina, ca uh, pashmina scarf on underneath and then just drape these over, they look so lovely. Um, but yeah, it's got like the pearls on that as well. Um, this I think I would probably pair with something really basic like a black dress or a black skirt underneath because I just love the the pearls on it and I want to keep that elegance and the other good thing about this is that you can like pair it with dainty pearl jewellery it would look so nice but yeah I'm really excited to wear that one and then the other oh the other one from Al Haya Collection is this look at the sleeves on that look how done up they are it's just so nice because it, this is all embroidered so it's thread on top rather than um, like crocheted or any, any embroidery or anything and the the thread is actually on a netted sleeve so all of that is netted with a thread on top and then here it's netted underneath and then it's got the thread on top as well um, but I like the contrast because it's on one sleeve and then on the other bottom half of the oh not quite as hanging the world are these um, and then the other half is on the bottom of the opposite side so regardless of what side you stand on, you've got a uh, sort of a feature piece on each side of the abaya and then it's got this uh, panel running down the sides as well which I think just gives it like a nice elegant touch. 
This one is an open obeyer and it doesn't button up. The one I've got at the moment buttons up. Um, so, oh actually no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. This has buttons on it as well, I didn't realise, I didn't realise the other side. So yeah, it buttons up as well so you can wear it as a closed obeyer. Or if you want to wear jeans or something underneath and just stick this on, you can do that. Um, once again, this has got massive sleeves and it is quite loose. And they all come with matching scarves, so the one that I've got at the moment has got to this scarf with it and it's got the same pattern as the arms and the one that I just showed you from Alahaya collection has also got a matching scarf with the power border and then oh I'm struggling right now uh, right and then I went and then I went to Smoky Not Smudgy last Sunday and I got a few pieces from there. Um, I'll probably do them in the order that I got them in actually, just to make it easier. So the first one is from Maria London and it's a little bit different to the other buyers that I've shown you in that it's a closed buyer. It's this beautiful navy blue. I'll show you guys. So it's a closed buyer. In a navy blue colour. It's got panelling on the back and on the front um, so the dress is made up of different panels and what that does is it makes it look more like a dress than an abaya but it gives you the full coverage of an abaya um, and then it's got like a shirt style um, neck with buttons so you could wear it like a turban, turban style hijab with it and wear some earrings if you've got like a party to go to for Christmas for work or something and it's just a beautiful dress style it's got crocheted embroidery on the sleeves which looks like this and it's in white um, which really really contrasts with the navy blue and it just looks lovely and then it's got this white crocheted pattern at the back as well um, and then white buttons on the front and it's just so elegant and I think um, for obviously for most of us who live in the west and you've got Christmas coming up and you've got work parties or uni parties or do's and stuff that you kind of want to go to um but you don't always know how to dress because everybody's all dressed up and you want to obviously stay modest and this is perfect for that and obviously it's a lovely wintry color um and then the blue and the white is just perfect um i would probably start this with some white fur just because i think it would really bring out the crochet pattern in it but yeah that's lovely and then the next thing i got i saw this sister walking around and i just like kept staring at her because the dress she was wearing was so 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 beautiful um, and they did actually did um, showcase their collection in the evening fashion show as well and they had just some lovely pieces for this one I don't know if it's the colour, if it's the pattern, if it's the design but I absolutely love and this is from Ava London and it's like this khaki gold paisley pattern of Aya. I wish I could, go, I should, could show you guys how it looks right now because it's just, wow, that's what it's like. But it's just so like big and flowy and like really elegant. It would make you just feel like such a princess in it. Um, and I love how it's khaki but then it shimmers gold as well. So as you walk, this is not mine at the moment, but as you walk, different parts of the dress catch the light. Um, and literally the sister that was wearing it, I just kept staring at because it was so nice. It's got a belt as well so you can pinch it at the waist if you want to. And it comes with pockets. Who doesn't love pockets on an abaya? It's just so, so handy. Um, you can wear it open. Um, the sister that I saw, I think she's wearing it closed and it just looked lovely, but you can wear it open so it does open up. Personally, I would probably wear it closed just because it's so lovely. I would wanna just show it off on its own without having to layer it with anything. Um, but it does have buttons all the way down. So you can actually like, just button the top half or button the middle or do something like that. So you can play around with it as well. Um, but it's just, so big like it's one of those like a bias that you can like, just twirl around in and it would really make you feel like a princess but yeah that's the one from Ada London and then I've got a final two this one is perfect for winter and um, this is also a closed abaya this is from Black Orchids and it's inside out because I tried it on and didn't pay back the right way um but it's just it's just such a lovely material it's just a simple um, grey long abaya 
and I think it's just a really good colour for winter because you can just style this up with like black boots and a black leather jacket um, or, or anything really but it's just really easy and convenient you can like stick it when you've got jeans on underneath you can stick this on top um, and then it's got this like Bolero style jacket crocheted on top which firstly provides war more warmth for your upper half um, but it also gives like some nice detailing to the abaya um, I would probably pair, pair this with black fur just because it's winter and I'm loving my fur at the moment um, but yeah it's got three buttons down the middle as well uh, so yeah that's what it looks like and the material is really really warm and really soft and the final abaya is from Amana Couture um, they literally had so many like I was so spot for trust I didn't know what to take because they were all so pretty um, but I decided to go with this one which is a black open abaya with pearls again um, but it's just so elegant. It's just got this. I'll show you guys. It's got this crochet at the top with bead, like with the pearl beads on it. So it will just sit like that, with that on the sides. Um, it has got a couple of but Oh no, it's got buttons all the way. So you oh no, not all the way. It's got buttons half half the way. So you can close it up half if you want to. Um, but the bottom would be open, so you can wear it with jeans or black trousers. Or, or even a skirt underneath. It's got pearls on the sleeves and pearls all the way down to the bottom. But once again, this is just so elegant and so pretty. And like, it'd be like perfect for like a date night or if you if you're going out for somewhere nice for the evening. Um, just to stick, if you just stick this on top of a really plain, simple outfit like black trousers and a black top, it just would really bring take the outfit to a whole new level, I guess. And it's also got a little tassel belt thing that you can wear around the waist to pinch the waist in again um, I just think that's nice because there's a little bit different it's not something that I've seen before um, and it gives an extra touch to the outfit I can't actually wait to wear this one I just love this I think this is so pretty but yes that is all of the advice I wanted to show you guys I know it can be hard um, to find advice that you feel comfortable in that you still feel stylish and that you that you feel can still express you as a person in your style um but you know with the modest fashion industry has come such a long way from those typical like the buyers that my mum wears or my mum sews for herself um you can find so much online and at bazaars so if you guys have got any questions just leave them down below i will tag all of these companies um and if you're not sure about how to style them then head over to my instagram because i will be uploading pictures of all of these uh, within the next few weeks inshallah so you guys can see how i style them and if you've got any questions you can leave them on there as well make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all soon inshallah